Hello, beautiful viewers. Welcome to Earth Talk on Insight Links TV. I am Damilola Chelayemi. Let's discuss malaria today. What is malaria? Malaria is a mosquito-borne disease caused by a parasite transmitted to humans through the bite of infected female Anopheles mosquito. Malaria is preventable and it is curable. And according to World Health Organization in 2020, we have 241 million cases of malaria worldwide and 627,000 cases of malaria deaths. There are five species of plasmodium that causes malaria. One, plasmodium falciparum. Two, plasmodium malariae. Three, plasmodium vivax. Four, plasmodium ovil. And five, plasmodium nolesi. Of the five species of plasmodium parasite that causes malaria, Plasmodium falciparum is the only species that causes malaria in humans. What are the signs and symptoms of malaria? Signs and symptoms of malaria include fever, it includes headache, it includes chills, it includes nausea and vomiting, it includes diarrhea, it includes general body discomfort. And if you notice any signs and symptoms, any of the mentioned signs and symptoms, please do well to visit your doctor or a qualified healthcare provider. How to prevent malaria? According to the World Health Organization, there are some preventive strategies and tools used for malaria. Let's talk about effective vector control. Vector control is a vital component in the control and elimination of malaria. And it is very effective in preventing the malaria infection and reducing the transmission of malaria. We have two core interventions for effective vector control. One, insecticide treated nets. And two, indoor residual spraying. We also have others like application of repellents on the skin. But for any repellents, for any insect repellent you want to apply on your skin, it must be registered with the Environment Protection Agency. And try as much as possible to always put on covered clothes in case you are in areas where there are mosquito to avoid mosquito bites. Preventive chemotherapies. It is the use of medicine that is either a medicine or the combination of medicines to reduce malaria infection and their consequences. Preventive chemotherapies include chemoprophylaxis. It includes intermittent preventive treatment for infants and intermittent preventive treatment for pregnant women. It also includes seasonal malaria, chemo prevention, and mass drug administration. Let's discuss malaria vaccine. Since October 2021, the World Health Organization recommends the vaccine, which is RTS, RTS, S-A-S-O-1 vaccine for children living in regions with moderate to high plasmodium falciparum malaria parasites and the vaccine has been shown to significantly reduce malaria. We'll be going on a short break now. When we come back, we'll be discussing treatment of malaria. Stay tuned.
education is key. Education is light. Education is power. However, quality education is what can unlock potentials, illuminate ignorance, and fight illiteracy. Finding this type of quality education is becoming a challenge. But I have found a school where quality education abounds. Ibadulai Nursery and Primary School and Ibadulai Caliphate College, Ilobu. At Ibadulai schools, they combine both Western and Islamic education. Their classrooms are conducive with fully equipped laboratories, ICT center, and library. The school is blessed with caring and quality teachers who make school environments comfortable for pupils and students. Ibadulai Group of School is located at Atoye B Estate, Konda area, Ilobu, or Sun State. Telephone 0803-501-2533 or 0706-225-8520. At Ibadulai Group of School, quality education is our watchword. Welcome back from the short break. Malaria is still the topic of the day. Let's discuss the treatment of malaria. Early diagnosis and treatment is very, very important to prevent the disease, to reduce deaths, and to contribute greatly to reducing the transmission of malaria. According to World Health Organization, which recommends that any suspected cases of malaria should be tested using a parasite-based diagnostic test, which can be either microscopy or rapid diagnostic test. Rapid diagnostic test is used to confirm and swiftly distinguish between malaria and non-malaria fever. But the best treatment available currently is the atemicillin-based combination therapy. An atemicillin-based combination therapy is used to fully and rapidly eliminate malaria parasites in the bloodstream of a patient. And malaria treatment depends on the type of malaria. It also depends on the length. It depends on age. And it also depends on whether you are pregnant or not. That is all on today's edition of Health Talk. But before I leave, I'll leave you with an African proverb which says, if you think you are too small to make a difference, then try spending the night with a mosquito. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>